Parsons need to do better. That you guys need to do better. You guys need to do better. <laughs> it's show time. It's a good video today. Stay tuned. Right, Bart? What's up, guys? This is your boy here back with another video. Thank you guys for coming back. And welcome if you're new. What's up? Loser boy here. Rolando? Yes, me. <laughs> Loser boy. <laughs> okay, so for today's video, uh, where's my script? Okay, so for today's video, I have some tea for you guys because it's a juicy topic and I think it needs to be addressed because people need to know about this. So let's get into it but before we start let's do the fit check real quick so what am i wearing today i am wearing the new diesel diesel because i am the diesel ambassador even though they don't know yet but this is what i'm wearing with the diesel library jeans that i absolutely love 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 with the diesel belt get these jeans you guys because they're like the best jeans ever they're so comfy they're non-stretch they're the perfect shade of black and i love it i love it i love it i love it i will wear these every day because i have been <laughs> okay so let's get to the tea by the title of this video i guess you guys already know what this is about and um yeah it's my experience at parsons this is kind of my yelp review for the school so let's get into it okay <laughs> okay so before we start these are my experiences at the school and mine alone okay i'm not speaking for everyone but these are clearly just my personal experiences finishing my grad school program at parsons and what grad school program am i taking um let's just say it's the say cheese program cheese okay <laughs> let's get into it let's start with the first bullet point i kind of wrote uh, wrote down a little i don't know a little something just to keep me on track because i could just rant about this for a very long time but the biggest bullet point is that i don't have my diploma yet and yes that's a, astonishing to me because i graduated like in summer of last year and i'm heading in summer of this year with no diploma my transcript says no graduation date and I'm like what the actual F <laughs> like okay so apparently long story short because this video can be very long but apparently a dumb teacher did not submit their grades until December mind you we graduated in August so that's how many that's uh, several months to submit grades i believe so that caused everyone in the class to not be eligible to graduate because we didn't have the official last grade so technically no one graduated cool right okay i can understand that kind of not really like why would you take so long to submit a dumb grade however the next thing i'm getting at is why didn't they tell us there's absolutely no communication whatsoever as to what's going on so in my head i'm thinking Oh, I'm going to get the degree when it's going to come, when it's going to come. And it's never showing up, right? Okay, I'm like, what? So this is so sad because actually one of my classmates told me, not even them, not even the fucking program director or whatever. Um, and he's yet to email everyone. So I have no idea if anyone else knows that they need to apply to graduate again because of the dilemma of the grades. So um we have no degrees uh, what mind you they started charging us for the student loans already so we're paying and i have nothing to show for it parsons please can someone tell me why this is happening i emailed the dean she has not replied um why is that as of yet i have no degree and I technically graduated already, but it doesn't say that in my transcript. So I have no idea what's going on. A hundred grand, that's what I get for a hundred grand. Yeah, really right. You would think they would do better. 
Uh, the second thing on my list is no studio, no studio space. Um, given, yes, we went through a pandemic and a lot of stuff changed and flipped for everyone, right? I, I get that. But if I'm a customer, I'm, I'm thinking, because this is, this is a freaking business, you know, I'm paying for something to get in return. You know, you guys promised me something and I didn't get it. So as the customer, if I didn't get what I paid for, I am entitled to some kind of compensation or refund, right? Right? Um, but it doesn't work like that. They're like, no, we're gonna get this money and you're not gonna get anything. So like, what's going on? We have no studio space. They charge us the same amount of tuition, mind you. Um, they didn't reduce it whatsoever. We had no access to equipment. We had no studio space. We have we had no resources and we were left kind of just in Zoom world. I get it, but I don't get it at the same time because if you're promising students something, you you should try better to give something to the students, right? I would assume. Um, but we didn't get any of that. We didn't have no access to cameras, no access to studio space, no access to the resources that we were paying for in the school. So there's a lot of quotation marks. Ew, I should stop doing that. Um, and as a customer, I just want to know what exactly am I paying for? What does $100,000 get me? Because that's what I'm stuck with paying. You know? Mind you, I don't know. Good question, right? Parsons, please enlighten us because we tried to speak and they never gave us an answer so yeah i w really wish it worked like a credit card if this charge if this transaction was done in my credit card i would have so reported it because i'm like hello i didn't even like get what i paid for so i want to return you know like honestly at this point i if i could return the stupid master's degree i would return it because i didn't gain anything from it you know i um, mean at this point uh, i've been almost a year and i haven't gotten any type of opportunities any type of job i'm still in my parents house <laughs> um so sad millennial problems but um yeah if I could return the master's degree and get all my money back, I would definitely would because it was definitely a waste of money. Simply. <laughs> um, but yes, on to the next bullet point. <laughs> so did I actually learn anything at the school? And question, I'm kind of questioning this now that I'm done with the school because I would say, sadly, no. Because um, in my idea, I went in the school thinking I would gain more skills in my craft and I didn't learn anything, you know? I didn't learn how to take a, take a freaking, I didn't have any lighting courses. I had no, uh, no help with kind of how to work a camera or anything of the sorts, no, nothing, you know? So we're just left kind of just winging it. And I don't know how I feel about that, going to a school and not learning how to do things, you know? Um. So yeah, keep that in mind if you're thinking of going to grad school. They're not going to teach you. This is more research-based stuff if you're into that. Um, I was under the impression that it was going to be something else. So yeah, not to mention that we had no access to none of these materials or equipment or what nothing. So what's the point, you know? They tried to do Zoom tutorials, but... Um, I'm a visual learner, you know, I need to like touch everything, you know, I need to touch it, mess it up, play around with it because I don't learn that way. I really do not learn that way. And yeah. Okay. The next one that really, really, really ticked me off, really ticked me off was that there was absolutely no communication whatsoever. I get it. The pandemic happened, the world ended, um, but tell us what's going on, you know, like, don't leave us in limbo because time is money, literally. Like, I know other schools, for example, I know my cousin went to UCLA. They told them in the, like within the next week, school will be online indefinitely. We never got that communicated at Parsons. So people were left with leases, paying for apartments. Mind you, I went back to Los Angeles. So I'm over here working a part time to pay the rent that I'm stuck with in New York City because the school wouldn't tell us 
yo, um, we're going to have class online, you know, the rest of the year. And that happened to a lot of people. I threw away like, what, $20,000 just in rent that I wasn't even using because I wasn't living there. So uh, thank you, Parsons, for, for your support. Thank you so much for your support because you care so much about your students. <laughs> this has become a rant. This is my experience and this is what I went through. You know, this is my freaking horror story. I wish I never went here because as of yet, I still have no degree. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I feel scammed. I feel scammed. They scammed me. <laughs> and I fell for it like a dummy. Okay, the next rant, what's on my list? The grad room. Or, um, it, the grad room was essentially a glorified storage room. Okay, it was basically a room with a whole bunch of mess. And that was our room. Like, really? Parsons, you can't do better. You can't give us something nicer. Just random. I, I know they renovated during the pandemic, so I feel like it might be different now. I have no idea. Again, this is my experience, so yeah, it might be different now, but when I was there, it was a storage room. It was a closet, but we would hang out in there and it was the best time ever, so whatever, but yeah. I guess the last thing on my list is the professors. The professors, the professors. Mind you, I, I will name two. Two women in particular. They are the best. Um, I, don't, I don't think I'll say their names because I don't know if they will like that. But she taught me all the history I needed to know and more in photography. And she really taught me the importance of photography. So I thank her for that. And the other one, who I will not mention, she is just... A sweetheart and she's still my mentor she still reaches out to me unlike the other professors that would say oh we're, we're here we're here for you we're here for you we're gonna help you after you leave if you have any questions contact us and mind you Lisa boy emails them and they never reply not one single one of them replied back so what does that tell you they care about the students right <laughs> Like, screw you guys but um yeah none of them replied and a lot of them really i think the one that really ticked me off was kind of how she would really challenge what loser boy was i get it but at some point it just became a superficial whatever blah 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 fashion whatever instagram blogger blah, blah, whatever it is that's what loser boy was right okay i get it oh whatever it's an art school maybe they didn't understand what i was trying to do whatever it's my art i get it whatever but the thing that takes me off is so why does she go around and do, she basically does something similar in vogue <laughs> i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it i don't get none of these professors i don't get it they're not here to help the students at least they say they are, but do, do they really? I don't think so. I really don't. At least not in the ways I wanted to be helped. And mind you, again, the two women. The only two women that are still working with me, trying to help me get a job. They're my mentors. And thank you. Because I'm... They Parsons literally, after we finished that thesis show, they just literally pushed us out. And they just left us abandoned on to the next class good luck to you guys hopefully it goes better for you guys because it did not go well for us but um what does that say about the school you know give it, yes this is my experiences and i went through this and it, it literally stressed me out to the brim i feel like i'm like balding or like whatever because it just really it even made me afraid to make art. I haven't made any art because I'm still traumatized and angry about like the situation I got myself in and I hate it. But yes, what does that say about the school? I'll leave that up to you. Do I endorse Parsons? Hell no, don't go to that school ever because they don't know what they're doing, clearly, because I still don't have my degree and I don't know when I'll get it. I'll keep you guys posted when I do, but as of now, I still have nothing. They, the dean has not contacted me and I emailed her specifically because Parsons needs to do better. You guys need to do better. You guys need to do better. <laughs> you guys need to do better.
You guys really do. Because you guys really fucked us up. And you guys, shame on you guys. That's all I have to say. Shame on you guys because you guys screwed with us. You took our money and yeah, you guys didn't do anything. You didn't do anything to help us. Again, that's my experience. And yeah, Loser Boy endorses many things. As you guys can see, buy Diesel. Buy it. You know, wear it. Endorse it. I wear Diesel all the time because I love it. And I cannot, if and there's anyone searching in the web, even if you're thinking of going to Parsons right now, I feel like it's like admissions times. Don't go. Don't go to that school because I don't endorse it. I do not endorse it. And you'll do better somewhere else, I think. So that's my feel for Parsons School of Design. Um, yeah, don't go to the new school. <laughs> um, yeah. I hope this video was helpful in some way and um i feel it needs to be heard because these are my experiences and this is what i went through and hopefully it helps someone else to not make that mistake that i made two years ago or three years ago now wow okay i guess that's the end for the video you guys i'm gonna go cry now because i'm so in debt <laughs> and i still don't have my degree <laughs> tier that's definitely something that would happen to a loser boy though so i should i should use that i should hone that energy and make good badass art i'll make good badass art <laughs> but anyways i'll see you guys in the next video you guys but yeah this was my horror story and i'm so traumatized by it but yeah I'll see you guys next week with another video. And until next time, see you. Bye. <laughs> I'm feeling myself. Oh, yeah. Buy these jeans. These are library. These are the 1995s. Uh, they're the perfect pair of jeans. Go buy them. Bye, Diesel. Don't go to Parsons. Bye.